Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. New research suggests a way to potentially halt the progress of Alzheimer's disease. Neurobiologists at Boston Children's Hospital have identified mechanisms in the brain that contribute to synapse loss, which is strongly related to declining cognitive function in Alzheimer's patients. These mechanisms serve an important function in healthy brains, pruning unnecessary synapses as the brain develops. In mouse models of Alzheimer's brains, the protein which tags synapses for elimination by these mechanisms is present at much higher levels, leading to the loss of healthy, necessary synapses. The research team found that by blocking this synapse tagging protein, they could stop synapse loss and prevent the progression of the disease. Researchers hope to develop a treatment that would be useful not just against Alzheimer's, but against a number of other neurodegenerative diseases as well. This study is published in the journal Science. Next up, researchers at MIT have created a programming language that allows them to program living cells. The new language is based on Verilog, a hardware description language used to design digital circuits. It's a text-based language that compiles DNA sequences, which, when inserted into bacteria, cause the bacteria to perform the programmed function. This enables even those who have no expertise in genetic engineering to produce living cells with specialized functions. Possible applications for this cellular programming language include creating bacteria capable of detecting tumor cells and producing a cancer drug, or living on plants and generating insecticides as needed, or helping to digest lactose for those with a lactose intolerance. And best of all, the team that created the language planned to make it available for free on the web for anyone to use. The paper on this very exciting bioengineering innovation is also published in Science. And finally, scientists and surgeons have teamed up to create a handheld pen capable of 3D printing human stem cells. Researchers at Australia's ARC Center of Excellence for Electromaterial Science, or ACES, and surgeons at Melbourne's St. Vincent's Hospital collaborated to develop this biopen which enables users to draw with stem cells suspended in a special hydrogel. My initial reaction as a layperson was, hey, that's pretty cool. But for surgeons repairing orthopedic injuries, the biopen serves a vital function. 3D bioprinting is already in use to create implants to repair or replace damaged tissue. But for some injuries, surgeons don't know exactly what they're dealing with until they actually perform the surgery. This makes fabricating customized implants very difficult. But with the BioPen, surgeons could implant as much tissue as necessary in any shape to fit any injury or malformation. The paper on the development of the BioPen is published in the journal Biofabrication. A new way to potentially slow the progress of Alzheimer's disease is discovered, a programming language for living cells is created, and a pen is invented that allows surgeons to write, so to speak, with living stem cells. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time, right Adikin? Damn right.